Ladies and gentlemen, lowrider aficionados, welcome. Level M Diecast bringing you this brand new set from Greenlight. This is California Lowrider Series 2. Uh, first set was a smashing uh, success. There's no doubt about that. Greenlight is now following it up with Series 2. There's always Series 3 is already planned. Um, obviously, the question is going to be, you know, is this carrying on from the greatness of the first one after, you know, the Gypsy Rose and things like that? But we'll take a look at what we got here. Uh, this is 1964 Chevy uh, Impala. This one does have the spare tire accessory on the back. That one is going to be a pretty nice one. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Uh, another Impala. This one, 63 Chevy Impala SS Convertible. Just a nice, clean look. You know, not pinstriped up, not decoed up. Just just in white. Um, I think that is a pretty nice addition. The only Cadillac in this Mix number two is this 72 Coupe de Ville, uh, but it's in blue. Of course, that looks really, really good. No doubt about that. Uh, new casting to the Lowrider series. This is your 76 uh, Chevy Monte Carlo in green with some green matching interior. So that one looks pretty good. Another one up. This is also new to the Lowrider series. This is the 55 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, this one looks pretty good and kind of a um, pearlescent white with some chrome and gold details on there. And then the very last one, yes, don't you worry, we do get a little bit more modern flavor. We do have ourselves a 1990 uh, Chevy Caprice Classic. And then this one does have the spare tire accessory on the back as well. This one in kind of a goldish yellow. So uh, let's go ahead and chop these open and get them on the rotator guy. All right, everybody, we're going to kick this off with our two brand new to the series castings. These are not new castings from Greenlight, but they are first two California Lowriders. First one, 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, this is a obviously modified casting. Uh, this casting has been around for a while, though, but the uh, base, I don't believe, has been uh, slammed before. Uh, so that's kind of new to the series, new to the casting, which is a good thing. This one looks pretty good. Uh, this casting is a little bit older casting. Uh, Greenlight typically ran these in their Motor World line, uh, which they no longer do anymore. It was kind of like the cheaper line for Greenlight. Um, typically, they had plastic bases as well. But this one does have nice metal metal base, so that's pretty good. Um, nice uh, right wire wheels on there. does have uh, you know, white wall tires on there as well. I do like all the uh, silver print. It's not necessarily chrome. Uh, it's more of a silver, and I think that looks pretty good. Not a huge fan of chrome personally here, but uh, you know, chrome is a big part of low riders for sure. But it looks it looks good. Looks good. I like the additional print on the corner of the uh, roof on the top, which is pretty nice. Of course, like pretty much every single green light they do nowadays, you know, there's no you know plate print or anything on there. So this one looks pretty good. This definitely looks like something that you could see, um, you know, maybe even your next door neighbor, you know, something like that. Taking a look at our base deets on this one. This one is number 4985 uh, printed on there with some um, you know, batch coating. Looks pretty good. No uh, trailer hitch on this one for sure. You can see that the bottom is drilled out. This was uh, intended to be screwed down to something. So very interesting, but looks pretty good. Little details on the front end. So definitely a very, very nice casting for sure. Uh, another good one here. 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo. Yes, a boat of a coupe. Yes, a two-door car. It is absolutely enormous. Um, this car is bigger than my, my four-door charger. Um, this one looks pretty good. I really like the metallic green. Um, it's very, very, very nice. I do like the matching interior color as well. Uh, very nice, uh, you know, detail to that as well. Uh, pinstriping and stuff like that is relatively subtle. Um, you kind of have to kind of have to just really look at it to get that those details in there and stuff uh different wheel than our previous one um still has some you know chrome details and whatnot on it this one does have chrome bumpers on it as well this one um is particularly nice this does have a moving feature so we'll go ahead and get the hood open real quick there we go just get that guy to roll around with the hood up now there's no there's no show car details under the hood. It's just factory, but it doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter that it has an opening hood and details in there is quite enough. Um, obviously, you know, people do ask sometimes if they roll. 
This one does not roll very well. I will be uh, frank about that. The uh, 55 Chevy rolls perfect though. This one doesn't roll all that well. Sometimes it's the construction, but usually it's because the tires are not put on the model all that well. Taking a look at our base deets for this guy. This one is going to be printed as well. This one is looks like 462 up there in the corner. So nice low number on this guy. Looking pretty good. This guy is obviously not modified uh, with a tow hitch or nothing like that. But um, it's kind of difficult to see in the wheel wells of the casting. I don't know if I can show you this. Um, so you see where the axle is. The axle sits very, very high up. So it looks like this one was just modified uh, to have the wheel sit a bit higher. Um, versus having a completely new base, but the deets on this one look pretty good. I do like to showcase off some of that finer detail on some of these models. You see that pinstriping is just one of those things you gotta you gotta really get into to see it. So I like the subtleness of it, which is pretty nice. All right, now we're gonna get on to models that were in series one, but uh, have a much much different flavor. This one is just ridiculous. Uh, this is the 1990 Chevy Caprice Classic. Uh, just just absolutely bonkers with that uh, spare tire attachment on the back. The kind of uh, orangish, goldish, yellowish kind of a mixture color is just very, very nice. And, of course, it does have a color-matched interior. I do like all the pinstriping and all the details like that on there. It has a little bit of green on that uh, C-pillar there in the back, which is just kind of a, just a little bit of an eye-popping uh, addition on there. This one does have your standard wire Dayton's uh, with the uh, the um, kind of spiral cutter nut on it. Not really sure what that's called. I'm sure there's a specific word for that. So bear with me on that. This one does not have any moving parts or anything like that. It's a it's a pretty good one. Uh, this one um, doesn't roll all that well either, but it does roll. Just not all that good. Just want to showcase that spare tire real quick. There is a nice logo on the back right there looks very very good there are those nice uh, Dayton wheels on there looks like the prints on that center hub piece is pretty nice so this one definitely slammed quite a bit 2731 is the number on this guy this guy does not have um, you know any trailer hitch attachments you see there is two uh, circles drilled in the back of the casting there is some uh, changes for bumpers and stuff like that on this particular casting they use it for a bunch of different things all right we're going to move on to um a car that you know they could do an entire series of just this car and it would be just fine 1964 chevy impala hardtop again does have that really nice spare tire attachment piece in the back um, the good thing about it is i think and we'll double check this uh, they're, I think they're different from each other, but we'll, we'll double check that. Uh, this one is also used for the convertible casting. So the roof piece is plastic. So that's why the, you know, red printing on the roof is a little bit different shade than the rest, but I think it looks perfectly fine. I think it maybe even be more intentional than just the fact that it's printed on plastic. This one has a ton of pinstriping on it, a ton of pinstriping on it, which looks absolutely fantastic. This guy does share the same wheels as the 55 Chevy Bel Air, so that looks pretty good. Um, this guy does have a nice tan interior. I think that's a nice contrast to the uh, metallic burgundy color that it is. Uh, this guy does have um, opening hood, so we'll crack this open real quick. It is uh, pretty stiff sometimes to get that hood open, so get that on there. Um, again, I've mentioned this before. I'll mention it again. Very nice. They get some black printing in there uh, to go around the uh, surround in there. But, of course, you know, you just have your standard engine stuff in there. Nice chrome air cleaner cover, though. That is a pretty nice addition. The hood does open a little bit further. Um, it just doesn't stay up. So just to let you guys know, this one is one of those ones that just has so many fine details to it that you really, really, really have to look into it and you really have to pay attention especially the details on the back of that spare tire cover. All this very, very intricate pinstriping you see on the side looks amazing. I really like the fact it says Impala on the you know rear quarter panel. It looks very, very good. The other thing, too, is there's a lot of nice, really, really nice pinstriping on the, on the back there, which looks really, really good. It's just really good on the print. So take a look just real quick. 
on the two spare tire covers, and you see they are, in fact, different from each other. They are not the same pieces. So that's a pretty cool addition, the fact that they are different. Something that is very different from the rest of the Lowrider series is this uh, 64 Impala. I'm sorry, 63 Impala. Uh, this is the SS Convertible. This is just stock white. It's just white. Um, black interior, which looks pretty good. Nice contrast. Does have some black Dayton's on there with some white wall tires. This one, you know, Greenlight released a, a Lowrider's, you know, hobby exclusive set uh, about a month ago. Um, and I'll actually link that at the end of the video. But they did one that was kind of like a black and white, almost kind of like um, it was photographed with uh, no color on it. And that was my favorite one of all the Lowriders they've done so far. But this one might be better. I just love how normal this one looks this is definitely something you would see at cars and coffee more so than any other version um, just a nice super clean super tastefully done um you know and i'm sure that you know with it being the ss it'd have a little bit more get up and go underneath the hood so we'll get the hood up so we could take a look at it as it rolls around this one will be especially nice because the black surround print under there will contrast nicely with the rest of the model. And then, of course, it still has the exact same orange motor with the uh, chrome air cleaner cover. So always a good, good look on that. This one's a little bit less chrome than the other one, but just variances in manufacturing. So definitely really happy about that one. Looks super, super good. Again, those really, really nice uh, just black Dayton's. Just insane. Just insane. Looks so good. Take a look at our base deets on this one, 5041. This is the highest number we've seen thus far. So it is way up there. This guy looks like he might be wanted to uh, done up for a trailer hitch, but we know we're never going to see that in hitch and haul. So we don't have to worry about that one. I'm sorry, hitch and tow. Let's not get Matchbox mixed up here. All right, the final one in the mix is the 72 Coupe de Ville. And I'm a little bummed out that we don't have the Sedan DeVille. Um, I really, really like these Cadillac castings from Greenlight. They did such a good job. They did such a good job. Um, and there's just there's just not enough of them yet. But they will come. This one looks very good in this kind of light metallic blue. Um, very interesting with the printing on the top. It's basically like spider webs uh, inside of other spider webs, which is a very, very intricate look. Uh, we will see what it looks like on that uh, C pillar, which I guess technically might be the B pillar. But we'll take a look at that print, see what's on there, see what the uh, intricate details are. This one also comes with the same wheels as the 55 Chevy Bel Air and, of course, the maroon Impala we already looked at. So there's a, just a couple of wheels that uh, Greenlight uses for the, the uh, Lowrider series, but they work perfectly fine. This one does look like it has an opening hood, but unfortunately it does not. That hood is just a separate part uh, for trim uh, levels and stuff like that. That's what Greenlight does. Basic white interior, nothing fancy on that. So take a look at that, that B pillar, C pillar detail in there. So it looks like there is... I'm not sure what's that supposed to be. Some kind of detail. I don't know if it's supposed to say some or whatever. At first, I thought it might be like a person or something, but definitely not the case. And then, of course, spider webs inside, uh, or I'm sorry, spider webs on the, you know, over basically doilies is what it is. That looks very, very good. Take a look at our number. Ooh, 182. Very low number. Very happy about that. Very happy to get a low number on a casting I really, really, really like. Uh, this guy obviously done up for a tow hitch. He is going to be in uh, hitch and um, tow. So that's going to happen for sure. Um, so we're going to roll out with our top picks. And I'm going to have to go with the Impala, this other Impala. And then, of course, our Coupe de Ville because I really like that casting. It's really, really good. So that is Series 2 from Greenlight. We'll give some honorable mentions, which is pretty much everybody else, just so that they can be on the screen. So there you go. That is uh, Loretta Series 2, as we said. That's a very, very good mix. I think it's perfectly good follow-up to Series 1. Uh, let me know what you guys think about those castings and you know, which 
which one is probably going to be the, the the hot one. Obviously, Gypsy Rose was the hot one in the first mix. Um, I do think either the Caprice or probably the this Impala are going to be the hot ones. But even if you don't like lowriders, I think I think you're going to like that Impala. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Level in the case. Peace.